today I've got a tutorial video for you on how to install and set up executable files and auto executable files for Team Fortress 2. These usually run scripts that you uh, want to use in game and an auto executable file will run it as you launch the game it will start running it and you need to do whatever you need to do to run the script once you're in game or you can have a separate executable file which you have to run the executable file first before you do anything but you have to do that once you're in game so I'm going to jump okay, into guys. so I'm showing you what a executable file does now a executable file I would have to type a normal executable file I have to type in exec and then whatever the file is called so jump or if you've got a auto executable file which I'm showing you both versions in this tutorial you just need to press whatever key you have assigned the auto executable file if it needs a key assigned to it so for this tutorial I've got P assigned to it so I just press P and the script runs and now I've got infinite ammo and infinite HP so I can do some pretty cool jumps and stuff so yeah okay so now that you've seen what executable files do I'm going to show you how to install them the script that I'm going to be using is a TF2 is the TF2 jump script which rocket jumping script which is the one you just saw gives me infinite health infinite ammo now this script was made by Jamin I'll link this page in the description of the video and basically this is the script that you're using and we will be using we will be putting in the executable file so you can just click select control C to copy bring it down you don't need that anymore now you're going to e need to open a notepad file or notepad plus plus or whatever you got I'm gonna paste this in now for this script in particular it's got a bind key I don't want that to be X I want that to be P so I can, you can change that to whatever you want it doesn't have to be P or X now I'm gonna save this as a config file so not automatically it will say text documents I don't want it to be a text document I want all files and I'm going to call it auto exec dot cfg the dot cfg is going to make it a config file and allow tf2 to understand it I'm going to save that to my desktop and you see it pop up there it might not have the notepad little symbol in the middle of it it might just be plain white um, you can also call this something like jump or whatever but if you call it auto exec it's going to automatically run it on startup of TF2 so you don't have to worry about anything but pressing your key once you're in game now you're going to have to find your TF2 directory so we've got TF2 installed and usually this is computer local disk program files if you're on 32 bit or program files 86 if you're on 64 bit let's go in go to Steam Steam apps, common, Team Fortress 2, and now we're in our Team Fortress 2 file. Now we need to go to TF, and we've got all these files here. It may look a bit different, but it doesn't matter. What you want to go to now is your CFG file, and this has got all your config files. We're going to drag the auto exit into here, and we're done. Now, if you want to have it so not everything so it's not an auto executable file and you need to run the executable file by yourself and not the game just automatically doing it you need to get rid of this and you can rename this to I'm just gonna call it jump and then drag it back in although I don't want it to be jump I'm going to actually I'll leave it as jump and I'll show you both ways so and I'm gonna paste this back in you don't have to do this I'm just doing this to show you how this works so we're gonna call it auto exit.cfg have that there so now you will either have it just jump or you'll have just auto exit you don't have you don't need both and this is just tutorial purpose only so now we can okay, guys. so we're back on P on high tower payload race and we I'm gonna show you what you do to run the executable files so if you've got the auto executable file what you wanna do I don't know why I'm lagging 
what you want to do is you want to just press whatever key you assigned to that bind so you're going so I assigned it to P so what I could do is I just press P and it runs the script simple as that that's all I have to do um, now we're just going to quickly undo this now if you did the other way where you custom named it so the other one I have was custom named it to jump um, now what I have to do is I have to type EXEC space jump and now that's going to run the executable file it's running and now I press whatever key it was assigned to and it's running the file so yeah that's all you have to do to install executable files and if you want to give me a like or subscribe to me because you thought this was handy feel free to do so otherwise thanks for watching guys see ya Cause I